Hello guys, hope everyone is well. So thanks for watching my previous video guys uh, where I introduced my new dragon, my beta fish and also um, how I set up his new tank. So today I'm going to do a little bit of an upgrade and also going to introduce a few friends to him. Yes, I was under the impression, so let me highlight it very clearly. I was under the impression that my beta fish is getting lonely so it will be good for me to add a few friends to him uh, especially fishers who are compatible with beta fishers so did a bit of a research on online as of you know as everyone does and concluded that Cory fishers would be the best tank mates for um, um, uh, beta those of you who know well about betas I know what you're going to be saying so please don't even bother because I have learned my lesson so which is why I'm starting this video with a warning saying do not try this. So the reason is quite simple. Betas do get well along with the certain number of inner fishes that's mentioned online including Corys but we need to understand that betas they do have individual personalities so you can't really put all the fishes into one particular box some may get along some may have an issue but with mine that was a very specific issue which I will address it on another video but this is just to show uh, that betas can get along with Corys but you've got to be extremely careful and constantly keeping an eye on your tank so but again just to put expectations in the right perspective in this video all's good the quarries were completely doing fine so not to worry but the reason why i said do not try this is because on my next video i will i did something really stupid which is where it costed me so it's a very fine line so just just giving you guys a heads up Corys, on the other hand are extremely peaceful fishers they are bottom dwellers and they take care of the substrate um, and they rarely have issues with other fishers so it's the beta fish that we need to watch out for as a hint to the issue that i had it had something to do with feeding so it only happens during the times when I'm feeding the fishes but as mentioned I will definitely address this in a separate video the reason is I need to show you what upgrade I did to the tank and also the the, the specific type of quarry that I actually had the problem with so let me walk you through the storyline so those of you who watched my previous video where I showed you how I set this tank up as an update I can tell you that the tank was doing extremely fine either there's no issues with the tank um, it, it cycled very fast and uh, I also the filter was also doing great and um, just to give you a, a broader picture I always add a pothos plant to the filter I believe that it helps helps to increase the efficiency of the process and since it was a used hang on filter I ordered added I also and since it was a used hang on filter I also added a lot of extra filter media inside the container so further increasing the efficiency of the filtering process so all was well and the only thing that was bothering me at that time was this is after the addition of Corys is that the substrate that I have here is a bit hard one um, and um, I felt it might be good for me to use a substrate that is a little bit more softer for the quarries and also something that is quarry friendly because anyways the beta doesn't really spend much time on, on, on the at the bottom um, and also most of the time I've seen the quarry spending most of the time on, on the lava rocks so decided to um, switch to uh, sand river sand and um, going and wanted to upgrade this whole tank to a new look so this time trying to see if I can you know go with the beach theme um, so let's try it out so time to take the fishes out and uh, also the water and emptied all the lava rocks and the substrate of course I'm going to be reusing most of the stuffs here except this particular substrate and uh, the lava rocks is definitely going to go back into the tank I did not empty the tank completely so after taking most of the contents out I did leave a little bit of fish tank water and some fish tank debris there and I'm also ru rushing against time to instantly you know set this up as quickly as possible because I don't want the bacteria in most of the contents to dry out without the water so I'm up against time 
and so it begins started off with these two coconut husks um, my initial idea was to put mosses at the on, on top of the coconut husks but sadly I didn't really have the right uh, type of mosses at that time but since I was up against time I immediately decided to just put the coconut husks as it is and um, then put sand all over the tops trying to give, create a nice texture so at the back it will all be the black you know rocky kind of you know texture uh, and then in the front it's going to be the sandy sort of you know kind of you know creating a beach like environment so this is a rough idea I had in mind um another thing to note here is the setup is very similar to what the previous setup was except it's just a change in substrate and uh, a few big rocks here and there uh, but other than that it is the exact same setup and finally time for the water and since I'm using river sand, the, the tank is definitely going to be very cloudy and um, I, I do trust the filter can do its job. Overnight, it should go, the water should be crystal clear back again. And since it's just river sand, it's very inert and it does not really affect the fishes that I have. So basically, quarries and the betas will not be affected by this cloudiness. So here they are. And you would have also spotted there are panda quarries now. So yes, they are the newest addition to the family. Uh, I always liked panda quarries and I wanted to give them a, a try. And um, I think they will do really well with all the other quarries here. So basically leopard quarries and panda quarries plus our beta fish. As you can see the beta got really well along with the quarries they were pretty much swimming all over the tank um, very close to it and he was not really attacking anyone and uh, of course the tank is really really cloudy but don't worry overnight it's going to be completely fine and here we are so this is the next day's version so the tank was kind of you know getting back to its crystal clear state and uh, once the sand is all settled in and the new look starts becoming more visible so to conclude guys yes quarries were great tank mates for the beta fish and the beta fish got along well with the quarries but as mentioned before every fish has its own personality and with my dragon one day i discovered that so as mentioned, I will definitely talk about this in more detail on my next video because I'm going to be talking everything that you need to know about having a beta fish. As always, my channel is about yesterday, today and tomorrow. So what we have been talking about is yesterday's tanks. So today, my dragon has got his new home. So what happened to the dragon's lair? It has turned into this. So stay tuned for my next video guys and thanks for watching this video. Any questions, any concerns, anything interesting, please comment.